Hey there, podcast listeners, Dr. Sheep here. Welcome back to their podcast, episode 16. Hey, I am joined by my long-awaited co-host, it's been a while, Anonymous Phil. Oh, I'm sorry, was that me? Yes, it's not Kyle, he's passed out. Yes. Actually, he wasn't earlier, I was talking to him earlier. He's passed out on the mattress, just <laughs> sprawled out on the floor. Anyways, these podcasts are broken down in three parts. First, we have some news, then we have the comments, and then we have some more news. Today's first news is super exciting. Because remember how we always talk about, oh, to see the footprints on the moon, we're going to need a, uh, a telescope the size of the Earth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, congratulations! We built one? We're proposing one to use the Earth as a lens. Oh, ah, beautiful. However, the satellite that needs to collect the data has to be 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. What's the moon's orbit? Uh... I think closer. 15 million? 1.5 million kilometers. 1.5 million? Just open up a tab. Fine. No. 680,000 million? That's not 27 what days. The moon is 27 days away. This, I mean, depends how fast you're going. Uh, as close to the approach. Oh, right here. 384,000 kilometers. A little bit further away than, than the... Uh, what did we say? 1.5 million? Yeah. Kilometers. Yeah, it's a little far. And the moon's only three hundred eighty-four, but hundred thousand. Yeah. Th to be fair, though, I mean, if we, if the moon's in the right position, the sun's in the right position, you could probably use the moon, the Earth, to focus it. Well, now, I mean, the goal is to use the moon, the, the Earth. Earth, to focus. No, I wonder if they're going to use the same technology that they're they're using on the massive uh, telescopes they're using on Earth. Did you hear about those new ones? No. They fire a laser into the upper atmosphere to figure out how the, uh, uh, how the how they're ionizing, mm -hmm. how the particles are ionizing, which is what's the main cause of uh, distortion okay. in the Earth-bound telescopes. Yes, yes. And so they measure that, and they can adjust the mirrors to do, uh, prevent that from happening. Oh yeah, 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 no, I know about that. Yeah, yeah. So do you yeah. think they'll have to use the same kind of data? I don't know. Because, I mean, the, the Earth's atmosphere is not a perfect lens. I am also curious if this 1.5 million kilometers is a Lagrangian point. Do you know what that is? It's like a, it's a stable orbital position in which, like, the way that the gravity, the way that, you know, objects warp gravity in Einstein in space-time, you know, you have, like, gravity wells and gravity hills mm -hmm. where you can land a satellite and it'll be stable without requiring excess energy to keep it in orbit. And so there is a, so there's one, you know, there's like five of them, though. There's like, they call them L5 or whatever. It's like the L1, L2, L3, L4, L5. And so I'm wondering if this is one of them. I would assume so. That's pretty Because, cool. pull up a tab. Lagrangian points of Earth. So it'd be the L2. It, but we don't, and then tell us what that distance is. Yeah, I don't know. Because see, basically, you know, you have these, these are the, uh, the holes. No, I bet it's L1. L1? No, that's, oh, maybe. Because, I mean, look what the moon is. Yeah. Oh, it's on this side. It's between the, the Earth and the, and the sun? I would assume so, because if it were... Because then you'd just be focusing the light from the sun. Yeah. Yeah. But I think L5 and L4 are where you have holes, where it's actually like a well. It's like it's a perfect spot to put a satellite. The problem is that a lot of uh, asteroids seem to be pocketed there. You know, just over time they just build up and they just sit there. It's like a car in a parking lot. Whereas these up here, these L1, L2, L3, these are like hills. Where like, it's almost like a bowling ball resting on the top of a hill. So, I mean, it's, it's stable. Well, what did you do? Because you were saying yours was doing that. Yeah. I what? don't know if this is new. Maybe this is a new Google image thing when Google updated. But now whenever you click on an image, it opens up on the side. What? It, it worked fine on that first one. It just started doing... On. Yeah, it just started doing it for me, like, sometime this week. 
What? Well, I don't like that at all. Oh. Google, if you're listening, which I know you're processing the video, uh, go back to horizontal. I don't like vertical. <laughs> Yeah, pictures now open up on the the right hand side. Oh my gosh! Images. Update your background. Whoa, battery saving mode. What? How the heck did I go from like fifty to like nothing, instantaneously? What do you got? Like what? Five tabs open. Three three YouTube tabs. Nineteen percent. I guess. But you know, my next my PC's gonna have thirty two because of RAM in the future. So yeah, I can't wait for that. Oh yeah, you're talking about those asteroids. Yeah, asteroids yeah, yeah. seem to be pocketed right there. Well, this is one with Jupiter, though. Oh, interesting. But yeah, L4 and L5 are your... I mean, if holes. we want to mine asteroids, I guess that'd be a way of getting ones closer to Earth. But I mean, your L1, L2, L3, uh, like those points, it's like a bowling ball sitting on top of a hill. I mean, it'll sit up there, but I mean, it's unstable. It's not a stable orbit. Oh, I, it's thought, not, I thought you said L1... L2 and L3 were stable. No, it, I mean, it, it, you, it is stable in a sense that you could put, in a, you could put a satellite there, but, like, it's like a it's, it's like a bowling ball sitting on top of a hill. You know, any slight, like, perpetration, it'll move. Oh. Oh, okay. oh, we can get pretty dang exact. All right. Well, I don't know. It doesn't say. It could catch the focus rays. Uh, Columbian might be able to collect more light from dim objects that is possible. Oh, dim objects. Ooh. So this is going to outdo the Hubble. This is going to outdo the massive one that they've been working on for like a decade, and they're still like at least a year or two away from launch yet. Yeah, what is that thing called? James Webb, I believe. James Webb, that's right. They've been working on it for a decade, and they're still nowhere close to getting it up there. Actually, I think it's been two decades. Yeah. Actually, no, they proposed it after they built the Hubble. Let's build a replacement. Well, then the technology here on the Earth finally caught up with them, and now we can get bigger and better telescopes on Earth. Is this thing going to be launched after LISA goes up? What's LISA? Isn't that the new gravity wave telescope that they plan to... I don't know. I don't, I don't... You, have, you know, you have LIGO or whatever. Yeah, on Earth. But then LISA is like the space one. I have I think that's what about... the S in LISA is. I haven't heard about... I've heard of LISA. I just haven't, uh, I, I don't know. Like, Lisa's, what, 2025, maybe 2030, isn't it? Yeah, uh, let's see. You really need to get your own, you should have brought your laptop. I should have. I mean, you can run upstairs and grab it, but... Uh, nope. Lisa... Launch date? Yeah. I'm assuming all these are being launched by SpaceX. Actually, December... What? Pa that's Pathfinder, that's not what you want. Yeah. Laser, space, laser inf infrometer. Laser interferometer space mm -hmm. antenna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, space gravity. Why is Lisa? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Who is Lisa? <laughs> what is Lisa? <laughs> Why is Lisa? <laughs> I'll do you one better. Why is Lisa? <laughs> that's a that's a philosophy video if I ever heard one. It's just how it's about gravitational Yeah, it's away. talking about it. it. I mean, this is NASA. You figure they... Well, I mean, NASA likes to be like... For scientists. Oh. Okay. Should have picked up. Wikipedia. This will. This is totally reliable. Launch date, 2034. Well, see, look, it's the European <laughs> Space Agency. That's the problem. Oh, yeah, yeah. No offense to Europeans. I'm just saying, they don't have the world's largest amount of money. Did you know the second biggest, uh, in, uh... I think the U.S. GDP is actually bigger than the EU mm -mm. GDP. Mm -mm. In terms of, well, no, no, there's two types of GDP. Yes, I know, I know, I'm an economics major. Yes, I know but I, I, think in, I think in one of the GDPs, either nominal or the other one. Okay, well, let's... The U.S. GDP is actually larger than the EU. Well, let's look this up, shall we? Get rid of all those. Don't need those anymore. Yeah. Plus some of those unnecessary times. US GDP. Yeah, Wikipedia. Wikipedia gives you like a list of every country. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, we're pretty big. Alright, scroll down. Okay, yeah, just uh, Well I know Wikipedia will tell us. Stop scrolling. Yeah, but I don't know if that's the right the right website. It'll, it'll tell us. 
Uh, this is the world's largest economy and nominal GDP, and the second largest in purchasing power, PPPP. That's the second type of GDP you're yeah, talking yeah, yeah. about. Which, there should be a chart down here. Ah, there we go. So, nominal GDP. Uh, no, but there's like one... Oh, wait, no, no, no. Go ahead, go ahead. GDP by country. Type that in. Okay, would you... Okay, Jesus. Here, you, you type slow. Sorry. You type incorrect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, this is what we want. GDP per capita? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the other one. Here we go. That, yeah, but per capita doesn't mean anything. Okay. The U.S., China's number two, but European Union is in between the U.S. and China. In, what is this? This is as of 2018. Yeah, but this is, what, what GDP is, oh, it doesn't tell me what GDP it is, though. Up at the top, this is nominal. Nominal GDP. In terms of nominal GDP. Okay, according to the International Monetary Fund, we finally broke 20 trillion, 20.4. I, I go off these other ones, United Nations and World Bank. That says 2017, though. Oh. That was as of 2018. Okay. And if you go down to the very bottom, I think, like, Tuvalu is still at the bottom. Let's see. Yep, there's Tuvalu. What is that, $45? <laughs> <laughs> Although they don't have all of them. Because if you scroll down, oh, so... Oh, this is millions. But they don't have all the countries, I don't think. 45 oh, wait, no, 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 no. Because, see, Tuvalu is 192. The United Nations recognizes 193, so they're missing one. The EU. The EU is not... The EU is not a country, though. I know. But I'm saying the United Nations recognizes 193. Okay, we're missing one country. Heaven forbid. Well, maybe it should be last. I want to know who's at the bottom. Okay, Tuvalu <laughs> has 38 million, all right? 38 million dollars to their name. Hey, that's more than I have. That's more than most people have. Fair, fair. The 1% can call themselves more powerful than the world's poorest nation. Jeff Bezos <laughs> can buy so many of those countries. He can buy... You can... For $1 he billion... Can own dollars, a he can country. For, okay, all right. Oh, let's figure this out. Which countries have a GDP... Smaller than Jeff Bezos's net worth. Wait, is he still the richest man even though he broke up with his... Yes. He's no longer worth $162 billion. He's worth $116 billion, but that's still $116 billion. Wait, did he have like a prenup? Or... He owed her like, like $6 billion, but I, I'm sure Amazon stock dropped when that happened. Anyways, okay. So it didn't split 50-50 then? No. Clearly. No, because I think her lawyer sucked. But like six billion dollars, yeah. his lawyers are probably like, that's six billion dollars. <laughs> all right, all right. So this is a million. So thirty-eight million. So what? Look at all these countries that are below Jeff Bezos. Because we're still in the. Okay, these are the billions. That's ten billion, eighteen billion, thirty-seven billion, fifty-eight billion. Here we go. Okay. Yes. So he has more money than the Ukraine. What, wait, what do you say? 116? They're 112. I think Jeff Bezos' net worth is 116. Jeff Bezos' net worth. Oh, it's 111 now. Amazon stacks are fluctuating badly, it sounds like. Okay. Wait, he, wait, doesn't wait. Have, he, he doesn't have more money than Ukraine. Who is, who's number two right now? Bill Gates or...? Yes. He's, he, he broke... Uh, he's like... I think... I think... It says right here. Oh, yeah. He broke 100 billion as well. And number... Three is Warren Buffett, right? I would, I think so. I don't, unless it's that guy from Mexico. Oh yeah. Ten uh, richest people in the world. Warren Buffett, they're counting up. Oh, gosh, it's one of these where you have to like scroll through it. Don't bother. It, it, it's Warren Buffett. I just saw. Oh, okay. CBS, come on. They've, they've trapped us. Oh, oh wow. you, you, it's because you clicked on the arrow. Did you see Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates? It'd be Warren Buffett. Yep. I don't, they don't say what his number is. And then number three would be Bernard Ariant. 
Whatever he owns, he's from France, and then then there's the Mexico guy. And then Spain. Spain. And then the U.S., U.S., U.S. Larry Ellison, what does he own? Doesn't he? Isn't that Virgin Airlines? I don't know. An American business management plus was a co-founder and executive chairman of Oracle Corporation. What's Oracle do? Aren't they? Aren't they eyeglasses? Oh. I think so. Because I heard that's a giant monopoly. What's surprising? Is it American? No, computer multi- software. Oh. Why am I... I've never heard of them. <laughs> computer software. I mean, they're worth a lot. I mean, their stock is only $53, hold on, hold on. though. Hold on. Jeff Bezos' net worth. I see... I see it be more than that, though. U.S. Today. Where? I don't want U.S. Today. Uh, Business Insider, that's okay. Or Forbes, here we go. Oh, 111.7. He was worth a lot more at one point. He was worth like $160 billion, Which is... Well, that was back before... That was back when him and his and McKenzie were together. Yeah, but... No, nah, Amazon stocks... I mean, we're, I think Amazon stocks are doing a slump right now. But still, though, all right... We're still talking. All right, he so has, 111. He, he owns more than Morocco. And just so you know, Morocco <laughs> is 61st out of 193 nations. Yeah. <laughs> he owns more money than so Morocco, he, Ecuador. So, okay, so when he was worth the hundred, Cuba. So when he was worth 160 billion, he had more than Kazakhstan. Yeah. Kazakhstan, Hungary, Angola, Sudan, Kuwait, Ukraine. Suit. Okay, that sounds crazy. Too. Puerto Rico. He could see. He could fix Puerto Rico. No, no, no. Now look up world's all-time richest man. Is that gonna be like um, Rockefeller or like? No, no. There's also the Egyptian guy who had like four hundred billion. Cause he's just like wealthy with gold galore. Yeah, Musa won. Musa the first. I love how Jeff Bezos is sitting on here. <laughs> but the guy from Mexico is. Is guys post? Okay, they show Rockefeller. Yeah. Can you give some numbers? Here we go. 400 billion. Rockefeller, 336 billion. Okay, but Jacob... Fudger, German merchant, mining entrepreneur, banker. So uh, Americans aren't up there yet. I, it's going to be an American, though. An American or a Chinese person is going to be the next one. There's Musa. Middle Ages. They say what his mount was? No. I'm sure there's no way to determine All right. it. So we'll start with. Let's just do this 400. Jacob Fugger in Rockefeller. Alright, who, who, who owns. Okay, Jacob Fugger. If he was alive today with that kind of money, who who could he buy? Four hundred. All right, all right. There's the cutoff. Four hundred and three. He could buy out Norway. You Norway, the U A, the U A E, Nigeria, Israel, oh, South no. Africa, Hong Kong. Uh, I don't know what you mean. Yeah. Well, I mean they're they're like a city in China. Oh, oh that's Ireland. Why. Look, see, the, you, Hong Kong's a dash. But they but, don't count. It still keeps counting. So no, maybe that's the country you're missing. No, 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 no. They're not a country. They're so co- the um the the you um the EU. The no, I'm sorry. The United Nations still recognizes China, the People's Republic of China, as owning uh, as well as Taiwan. Well, Taiwan congratulations to uh Ro- Fugger, Fudger. Now let's go to like what three hundred and thirty six. That'd be Rockefeller. Good old Rockefeller is just below Hong Kong. You can buy Ireland, though. Ireland, Denmark, Singapore, Malaysia, Philippines, Colombia, Pakistan. Czech Republic. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Romania. Czech Republic. Greece. Peru. New Zealand. Portugal. You know, Portugal was one of the wealthiest countries of all time at one point. I love it before. That's crazy. 
You know, in the 1800s, there's a guy named J.P. Morgan. He's basically like the... Amer- yes, I know about J.P. Morgan. No, but in the show on the History Channel, they, they said he was basically America's banker. He would quite literally loan America money when they needed it. Well, yeah, I heard... He had so much money, Amer- uh, he, the president would call him and say, yo, we need a couple hundred billion, otherwise, it's not, otherwise to protect the economy. He's like, okay... And and loan um, and write a check and loan America a hundred billion dollars. So yeah, I in heard. Money. So I heard back when so when the stock market million, when I the stock heard. market first crashed in the nineteen thirty in nineteen twenty nine, mm-hmm. J P Morgan went in, dug us out of it, but then he could have dug us out the second time. Yeah. But he couldn't get all of his stuff sold fast enough before the market closed, Jeez. and so the market permanently c- collapsed, and so he couldn't get it back up. It's just crazy. Why the he- president would literally have him on speed dial. Yo, 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 you gotta save the economy. We're gonna go under. I can't believe he's not on here. Henry Ford was... W- what? I had no I idea. Do, do a quick search. Uh, control F. Morgan. There he is. Andrew Carn- he's written within Andrew Carnegie, um, but he sold his company to for four hundred and eighty million to J P Morgan. Oh, in their money, right? Yeah, it was U S. Steel. He was capitalized at one point four billion at that time. They account for point six percent of the U S.'s annual G D P. Those oh, individuals who have sought to add a net worth of at least a hundred billion dollars. This, therefore, it excludes figures such as Andrew Mellon, uh, Richard Mellon, but then J.P. Morgan and others. By others, they mean. So they don't think he had a net worth of at least a hundred billion U.S. dollars. Huh. Interesting. Well, Bill Gates is now on this list. Of the, so the hundred billion dollar people, mm-hmm. Bill Gates could be on here, as will um, uh, Bezos. Bezos. It's interesting. Bill Gates is catching up. He's really? he's still always going up. Jeff Bezos fluctuates a lot. So I wonder if we won't. Bill see, Gates is Microsoft, right? Yeah. I wonder if we won't see Bill Gates peak over Bezos for a little bit. Because mm-hmm. no. like I because like I said, he went down. This is the second podcast in a row we've ended up talking about this stuff. <laughs> Just gonna have to reuse the map again. <laughs> Time is it? No, there's plenty of images on Google. Oh my gosh, we're at twenty minutes. All right, so all right, on to the comments now. I wasn't gonna do the last podcast on here because I was gonna do the philosophy video, and then obviously the philosophy video doesn't have the comments for this video. However, Doctor Sheep's number one fan wrote a comment after I filmed it, so we have to read it. And it's funny enough, because it's his comment, he wanted to be on the philosophy video. Here it is. You would need probably five million to live comfortably for your whole life. Depends on how uh, health goes in your life. Health care isn't cheap. He is very correct. Like I said, I'm going to use my Jeff Bezos money to live forever. I, sh- I will say five million to live comfortably. Because, I mean, I think we figured 1.2 million would get you by... Living like just above the potter poverty line. Pottery line. Pottery line. <laughs> yeah, making clay. <laughs> yeah, just above the poverty line. That's not comfortable. Poverty line. That's not comfortable at all. Ramen no, noodles isn't comfortable. No. You know, I like to treat myself, you know what I call treating Ramen myself? Ramen noodles and tap water. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Treating myself right now is hot dogs or pizza rolls. Yeah. <laughs> what I normally eat is is oven baked chicken. I eat that every single day, yeah. and then I'll eat a bowl of ramen probably every day. Not every day. I'll, I'll go a day or so without doing it because I know how bad it is for you. <laughs> I wonder if it's worth it for you to get like a Costco's membership and you know just buy in bulk, buy the good stuff in bulk. I don't have to worry about it anymore though. Oh, really? Well, because the school year's starting. Yeah? And I'm going to get my meal plan 
And then oh. I will only need stuff like the weekends and like cereal in the mornings. I mean, just get you out of bed early and go to the dining hall. No! No! I already have to be on city campus at like 9.30. <laughs> you say that like it's early. <laughs> Back in high school days, we had to start at 8 a.m. High school, I was uh, I had to be on the bus at 7. <laughs> oh yeah, you, you sent me like Snapchats of you like... Of the early morning sun before it even rose. Well, that's back when I walked. Uh, not walked to school. Even though I could have, I walked my driveway because it's so long to get some exercise in. It worked. It worked. I lost I, I lost some weight. It got me down to 200. And now you're that you're in college. 9.30 is early. Yes. <laughs> I wake up at 8 o'clock. 8.30. 9 some days. Yo, if you go to bed at midnight, that's still like 8 and a half, 9 hours. I guess. <laughs> you say that like it's a bad thing. It's not enough. <laughs> Phil, I'm telling you, it's not enough. 8 and a half to 9 hours of sleep. I mean, I will give you the fact that the sun's going to be up at like 7, you know, so like... Maybe you're waking up, constantly turning around in bed up from, like, 7 to 9, but still. I am, actually, yeah. 7 to 9, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a good sleep sometimes. That's not the most quality sleep time. My, my Fitbit tells me the same story. Anyways, why does it feel so good to scratch mosquito bites? Uh, the water bottle commented, of course it's the female mosquitoes causing all the pain. Uh, snoozing emoji faces, and then, I'm just kidding, lol, not really, though. He's kidding. Spazzy McGee commented, in checks what doesn't feel what doesn't feel like mathing a while. Oh, he's quoting me from the uh, thing. Oh, what thing? I looked at my watch in the in the video. Oh, and I checked my watch. I'll be back in a while. <laughs> Didn't feel like mathing. Yes, you should that, watch that video. That's if I have an analog watch. I have a digital one though. It got 14 views. You haven't watched it. That can be number Anyways, 15. Where do rocks come from? Has like four views on it. Hey. Five. Five. Well, you have to refresh the page. No, because then it'll just cause the view kind of... Mm -hmm. Anyways, the watermelon continent, Igneous is the only rock I recognize. The rest are posers. Hey, you don't like good cemetery rock. And the only part I recognize is... Uh, you probably only... You probably recognize is Igneous, because I probably <laughs> mentioned it when I made the Shaggy thing. And it's Badge McGee. You should really be nice to yourself. He's referring to the skit. Oh. What you saw. A really sh that was a really short video. That's why I figured more people would watch it, but I guess not. Anyways, on to the next news. Wow, we blew through the comments, and we're not even a half hour. I'm proud of ourselves. It was like four minutes. Jeez. Yes, I am proud of ourselves. So, do you remember that Chinese guy we talked about, like, half a year ago by now? And he was all, like, experimenting on humans with Cris was CRISPR, but he did a gene that didn't get expressed. Oh, I think so, yeah. Well, now CRISPR is entering clinical trials on humans. Wow. Fun times, right? You can finally play God. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but is it ethical to play God? I mean, as long as you're not, like, building any more Lucifers in the world, I suppose. So, I don't know if I mentioned this on any of the other podcasts. Please comment below if I did. But... Egypt, not Egypt, Saudi Arabia is building a futuristic city. The cost right now is going to be $500 billion, still less than the U.S. defense budget. Mm -hmm. But for $500 billion, it's going to be like, there's going to be glow-in-the-dark sand. I don't know how they plan to do that. Wow. Glow-in-the-dark sand. There's going to be flying taxis. That sounds dangerous. But most importantly, they're going to genetically engineer humans. The people living in the city are going to be fat, smarter and stronger. They can say humans. fatter. <laughs> fatter. Welcome to America. That's just America. <laughs> That's just America. <laughs> We'd be fatter, smarter. Uh, I don't know if Americans are smarter than the rest of the world. Like, well, let's put, it, let's put it this way. Who put a man on the moon first? That's when we were skinny. <laughs> Yeah, t yeah, I guess. Have you seen? Did I tell you about the scooter people? All right, names? fine. Where are all the top, the the majority of the top ten richest men in America from? Well, in America, of course. Exactly. <laughs> you still said top ten richest men in America. 
Or I said, where are the majority of the top ten? Richest men in America. You said America. You didn't say the world. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, America, <laughs> duh. I, I said that wrong. I said that wrong. Where the... Uh, it's 50% exactly, I'm pretty sure. Oh, is it half? Yes. Well, still. Richest people. And actually, like, m the majority of the most powerful people in the world are from America as well. Mm-hmm. Even though our president isn't the most powerful. It goes like, it's the leader of China, um... Elon Putin, Musk. No, it's Putin. Elon Musk isn't on there. Well, he is, but like, I think really, really far down there. And then it goes Donald Trump after uh, Putin. And then the Chancellor of Germany. I think it's Mark Zuckerberg. Or like Jeff. Facebook? What? Is he a Zuckerberg? Isn't that a dying platform? It's either Zuckerberg or Jeff Bezos. No, it's Zuckerberg. Jeff Bezos is like in the top 20. That's a dying platform. I don't know. It's dying as in the people on there are dying because they're old. Oh! Oh! Crack at all the old people on Facebook. Man. Man, you be ripping from Facebook. I don't like Facebook. I don't like going on there. It's not fun anymore. Heck, it wasn't fun to be... It was fun in the beginning. You know, like when you first get it, like, oh my gosh, it's so much fun. You talk to the people you have... You know, you go and you talk to when you're at school. Yeah. And then the 2016 election hit, and Facebook was no longer fun. And it hasn't been fun since. Yeah. You know, I still remember that summer. It was in 2014. It was the year I started my first job. And you, it was like, I got a Gmail that year, and you're like, you know, you need to get a Facebook now. You just got a Facebook. I got like... 38 of my closest friends on here. <laughs> I, of all the platforms, I have the least amount of people on Facebook. Well, I mean, excluding Snapchat, but, like, that's, like, a phone number. Yeah. Well, I guess Twitter. Twitter is even less. But even then, I don't have that many people on Facebook compared to, like, my Instagram, which is, like, over 200. Mm -hmm. I follow over 250 people, but most of, uh, but those last, like, 50 people are all meme accounts. Because I got tired of, of my, of the rooster sending me, uh, memes, and I can't look at them. I'm like, fine, I'll just follow the meme account. Hmm. They weren't that good. Yeah, they were good. They weren't that good. Some of them are pretty dank, though, right? Yeah, they were a few. <laughs> They're not always that great, though. But at least now I can see them all. And there was this one. Mm. I'm just thinking about making my teeth hurt. And it was a picture of this guy with the fingernail clipper to his tooth. And the next clip was a chunk of the tooth gone. Oh, jeez. And then it was comparing it to biting into an ice cream cone. And the rooster, <laughs> and the rooster was like, what? I'm still cringing. And I looked an at it. An ice cream cone? <laughs> I, was, I was cringing, too. Okay. Gosh, you can feel it. Like, mm, uh. You know, something I've noticed... That and, like, styrofoam. Like, I've noticed, like, I was at work the other day, and uh, the the assistant manager, who's now gone, yeah. and a new one, my third assistant manager, I think now, fourth, fourth assistant manager, he was picking this double-sided tape. Oh, gosh, just thinking about it. And it's, like, a styrofoamy type stuff. And he's picking it off. And he listens to a lot of, like, loud music, yeah. and so... He can't hear the cringy feeling. He, he's like, I legit, like, do you hear that? He's like, hear what? And I'm like, you do not hear that sound? He's like, no. I'm like, I am dying over here. Stop. Why couldn't you walk away? I wanted a drink of water. <laughs> he was at the desk. Oh, gosh, it was awful. Awful, awful, awful. Anyways, how much of your day do you spend in the office? You mean at the deck? Desk? Well, is that where you can avoid customers? No. Oh, never mind then. Because, I mean, they can come find me. Oh. <laughs> I mean, they want. I mean, the office at where I work, you know, you can sit there and avoid customers. You're on the second floor. <laughs> we don't have two floors anymore. It's all one big floor. So that glass with the shades? Yeah, that's not a floor. That's not a floor anymore? It used to be back in the day, but now it's just like... That place is cool, It though. just looks light in, yeah. Have you been up there? I was one time I've been, with my brother. Oh, really? Yeah, I've never been up there. there. I would have gone up there, but they're actually tearing it down, like, that summer. And so, 
Like, actually, I got hired. I had my interview, like, two days before. They they were moving every all the equipment and stuff mm-hmm. from the break room down. We have a second floor. We have two t- second floors. Three, I think, actually. I don't know where the third one is. Three second floors. What, can you guys not count? Well, no, they're like, they're, they're not connected There's to each other. There's floor one, floor con- 2.1. But they're not connected to each point other. Three. Oh. I think there's a second, I think there's a third one. I, I'm pretty sure I'm wrong, though. But there's the main one. Yeah. And then there's another one over in the cabinets. Yeah. And they have, like, the tow trim that goes, like, on the bottom of the cabinet, between mm-hmm. the floor and the cabinet. That's where all that stuff is. Like, but anyways, y- yeah, you go up there... And it's really warm, but that's where we keep all of our overstock windows. That's yeah. also where our break room is. There's also, if you ever buy a couch from us, that's where the couch is. That's where the couches and the boxes are. Mm-hmm. And uh, sort of other stuff. Hmm. We have uh, seasonal items that we have left over, like Christmas lights. Do you ever need Christmas lights? Go to the main second floor and you find it. Huh. We you know, we didn't have very many this year. You know, in Spain, they count uh, floors. Very weirdly, I don't know, this is also a European thing, I don't know if you already know about this, but, so, your ground floor, you know, where you first get on, that will either be zero, or B, or piso bajo, your ground floor. Oh, I was about to say, I'm like, B? B, not, not B basement. basement. <laughs> no, piso bajo, and that's, that's like your ground floor, and then, or zero, and then your very first floor where people can live, that's floor one. And then you have floor two, floor three. So floor three is really like floor four. And so they kind of... But then when you go down, it's like the basement... What we'd call the basement will either be like an S or a negative one. That's cool. Negative one's cool. Negative one. Yeah, I'm on the negative second floor. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's interesting now... Did you know that the World Trade Centers have like four stories underneath them? Of parking garages, really? Yes, and they had their own uh, station to get it hooked up to the subway. That's that's cool. Well, I will say in Spain, you know, there aren't a lot of like at least the part of Spain I was in. I was in Bilbao, and there aren't a lot of parking lots. They have a lot of parking garages underneath the buildings because Bilbao is surrounded by mountains. They literally their city is almost as big as it can get, and they're already starting to build into the mountains. So what they started to do is they put parking underneath buildings. Yeah. Not here not here in America. We yeah. put parking garages. Parking garages are a big waste and so like a lot of people don't even drive. They they either walk or they take the metro. Wish. Because the metro is super fast. Unlike in America where our public transportation systems suck. Well, at least in Nebraska. Because Nebraska, you know, it's so wide open, you know, we can build and build and build without having to worry about space. We don't build up, we build out. Yeah, that's really... So that's, everything be like hella far. Yeah, and of all the states that shouldn't expand outwards, because, like, you know, we feed the United States... Well, we don't lead the United States in corn production or cattle production or... Yeah, so no. Cattle we, is led by Texas. Oh. So it means they're led by Illinois. Hey, we're the number one red bean producer. Oh, red bean. Red beans. <laughs> that's... A, as you know, we are the number one red bean producer by quite a bit in the entire United States. Is that real, right? Yes, we are a world leading producer of red beans. Number one red bean producer. State. Oh, okay. Oh, do I need to type state? Uh, sure, I'll type in the US. Oh, but then uh, corn is led by. Uh, Iowa. Michigan, Nebraska, Minnesota, Idaho. Rounding out the top five U.S. Oh, did Michigan pass us? Haha, <laughs> Michigan passed us. I, I told maybe, you, we're maybe, number one in like maybe. nothing. Hold on, maybe. Hold on. The only thing we got is like the world's largest zoo. This isn't the right site, though. There's a whole site that I used back when I was in. The only thing we got is the world's largest zoo. Why? Because we got a whole lot of space to expand. Not really, actually. That zoo doesn't... The Henry Dory Zoo is I mean, the zoo is in Omaha. I'll give them that. The zoo is in Omaha. They really don't have a lot of room to expand there. Yeah. I think Omaha should... is kind of blocked up by a river on one side.
Uh, and <laughs> this, this is dry beans. Oh, These are red beans. beans. I don't know. I will say, though, I don't know whether or not we lead the nation, but we are, uh, we do have one of the most reliable power grids in the nation. Yes, we are number one. We are number one. And that is because we are probably like the 50th state to put in reliable power. Why? Because we saw the other 49 states fail to do so. I don't think that's it. Yeah, we learned what, what worked and what didn't work. I don't understand. And like, hey, we know it works. Let's revolutionize it. Let's make it better. I don't understand that, though. Because, like, Oregon has, no, it's Washington, has all hydroelectric power, which means they have power all the time. Do they just have, like, all above-ground power or something, or what? I don't know what they Because so all the trees fall on it? I don't know what they're doing. They do have uh, high wind. I think they do lead the nation in uh, the... The highest average wind speed. Year round. That's not us. No. You gotta be kidding me. When was the last windiest day in Nebraska? March! Let's be real. Exactly. It's, March. All, it's all of March and April. You can't go outside without What month like, is it right now? August! <laughs> the last windiest month was March. Okay, June. My bad. June. But we're in the dead part right now, okay? The winds will come back. Don't you worry. Okay, but it's probably windy right now in Washington. No, no, wait. We're number one in something other than power. Number one in, uh... These beans aren't... These, all these bean varieties are not helping me. Oh, oh, I know we're number one in. Worst states to have a vacation in. No, 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 no. no. I, I think Florida's got that. Floor, number one, Gators, Florida Man, Florida Man, Gators, Humidity, Hurricanes. They have Disney World. Did you want to go to the Disney World? I'm saying that brings in vacationers. Yeah. What North, do we have that people want to go on vacation to? Okay, North Dakota. Let's go see cornfields. Oh, look, we can see that in every other state we drive by. What about North Dakota? North Dakota? What does North Dakota have? Uh, soy beans, I, th I think apparently. they're <laughs> soybeans. <laughs> soybeans in Illinois. No, uh, it said soybeans. Oh, last time I looked it up, it was Illinois. Okay, maybe we just need to find the right sites. Largest soybean producer. Soybean producer. Iowa. Iowa. Oh, I, I want past Illinois. Okay. Right. No, wait, 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 look at the numbers. What? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, 2015. Wait, this is 2015. Sorry. But it's four years, four years in the past. Sorry, the farmers don't like, you know, like, <laughs> beef live, too. I don't like that site. NASA. NASA. Why does Nat? oh, it's NAS. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is how I learned that they grow well, cotton. Oh, it is in the Midwest. Yeah. Tell you that. this is how I learned that we that we grow cotton down in Arizona. Oh. They grow cotton in Arizona. Oh, what? Well, what do you mean? This is how I learned how we grew cotton. Well, I went to the same kind of site and they showed me a map oh. like this, and I was like, places you can grow cotton. They grow the cotton. south. They grow cotton here. <laughs> There's like one cotton field in like <laughs> in the last on the border between us and Kansas. Oh, really? Yes. Remember, we don't live in Iowa. Remember, we live in Iowa. Wink. Anyways. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I want to say Arizona. I was about to start singing uh, Oceanfront Property, but then I realized. Okay. Remind me again. What was our motto again? What motto? Our new, our new Nebraska motto. Nebraska. Honestly, it isn't for everyone. <laughs> that's, that's true. That is literally us <laughs> accepting the fact that we are the worst state to live in. Wait, it's not the good life anymore? No, I think North Dakota took that. What? I seriously think North Dakota took that. Cause back Why? In, back in, like, March, we, the governor changed it. Freaking Pete Ricketts. Pete Ricketts. I, I dislike that man so much. You know what, Pete Ricketts? You know, I wanted to get, you know, powerful people on this podcast, important people. Pete Ricketts, you are never coming on this podcast. <laughs> never. 
Mark my words. Next week, today we have a new special guest. (laughs) Pete Rickens. The governor of Nebraska, Pete Rickens. After he founded and built our own Patreon page. And started it up with a million bucks. He donated us, he gave us a small loan of a million dollars. Fun fact, I'm filming this in 8K. (laughs) Fun fact, I'm filming this in 8K. I'm using Intel i9 9900K with with dual uh, screens. Uh, what no with dual Nvidia RTX 2080s. Apparently they're coming out with super ones now. Oh yeah. I don't know if they're coming out with super TIs, but they're coming out with super. Actually no, I think they are super TIs. Super 20, RTX 2080 TIs by Nvidia. I'm like, what? And at the same time, we're running this NAS website on. 64 terabytes of RAM. Yes. <laughs> That's on un- What? <laughs> Servers don't have that much. It was like 64 terabytes. What? 64 terabytes of RAM. It's a 132 stick. It's two thir- It's two thirty six terabyte sticks. And our memory is only 4 gigabytes. Do I only use 16 <laughs> of that? That's because I have Minecraft and survival crap running in the background. With a four gigabyte hard drive. No. <laughs> it's DDR5. Yes, we got we got DDR5 RAM before DDR5. it ever came out. <laughs> That's coming out. Oh, is it really? Yeah, it's not going to hit like shelves for like us. Like, yeah, but like, 64 terabyte, that's like DDR10. It's like DDR never. <laughs> DDR never. <laughs> Anyways, what happened to talking super, about, about Crisco? supercomputers? That's gonna have like a hell of a RAM, right? Yes. The CDs yes. or no, Pleiades. The NASA supercomputer. Something. Pronounce something like that. You realize we were supposed to be talking about CRISPR. Oh yeah, were we? We started. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we were talking about. I think what happened was we were talking about the budget. Um, Saudi Arabia, right? Yeah. <laughs> was that is that how we got onto Be- Jeff Bezos' money? So, no, we started talking about the fight, uh, the philosophy video, because I said it's not a philosophy video topic, and then we got into that, and it manifested. And then somehow I mentioned Nebraska, and then then we started talking about beans. Beans. Well, there's your recap, kids. What um, beans? Do you want to kill it? We're at forty-seven minutes. What? Yeah, but have we even done... Yeah. We d- that was everything? That's everything! Oh. CRISPR, it's entering human trials. That's all you need to know. <laughs> That's legit. We read the title, and we're like, oh, yeah, they're... Yeah. And just called it good. I don't know. Do you want to talk about it at all? Or no. No. No? What about this other tab you have opened? We were talking about a space telescope. Oh. Lisa. No, we weren't. Not specifically Lisa. It's this other one. Where they're going to... Oh, yeah. Although, I really hope we can focus in on the moon, though. Mm-hmm. That'd be cool. Dr. Sheep, Zoom 2. So I'm standing on the moon right now. I've got Phil in orbit around the Earth at a satellite 1.5 million kilometers away. And I'm using the new Canon camera. <laughs> what? <laughs> <With> the- <laughs> I'm using the new... Ca- I'm using... I'm currently running a, uh, Phil, uh, hi Phil here, I'm running a red hydrogen one, I'm filming in 16K. Wait, like, was that a Canon camera, the digital camera or whatever? Which one? That you're telling me how you could stand in the stadium and see someone up No, that was Nikon. Nikon. Yes, with the 24 to 3000 millimeter zoom. Yes. I want one. Even though the picture quality is garbo, I want one. <laughs> I find that kind of ironic. They, it's a camera, right? So you expect it to take pretty good pictures. No, no. They don't focus on how good of a quality of picture you can take. They focus on how far away you can stand to take a picture. Well, the, the <laughs> idea it was it's it's for like you know like soccer moms and stuff. So they don't. So it's like it's cell phone quality, and they yeah, really don't but care. The, the it's not good cell phone no, quality. The, I'll tell you that. The much. zoom on a good on a normal cell phone is good enough. Times two is not enough. I need 3,000 millimeters. I want to see the whites of the kid's eyes in the picture. I need like a full-on headshot. Uh, you, know when the doc- you know when the eye doctor goes and looks at your retina? Yeah. I want to see his retina. <laughs> That's how good of a camera I want. 
Now that's how much of a zoom I want. I wanted to see the cells in his eye. <laughs> Although it didn't give a focal length. So I wanted to see if we can use as a macro lens. I want to be able to take not. that camera, point it across the soccer field at the people's cell phone and see the pixels on their cell phone. Now that'd be you an need, impressive camera. You need like a macro lens for that. <laughs> which I want a macro lens, but I think we should just get a microscope. I forgot, we're supposed to be trying to get a microscope at the same time trying to get a PC. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the next thing after this. Do you think we're going to buy a microscope after we buy the PC? Or are we going to buy advertisement? Um, I don't know. Buy advertising? Well, you know, you guys could advertise for us if you're even listening at this point. We're about to break the record again, I think. We're only at 50 minutes. 50, what is the record? Like 53 or something? We have to, like, get to 55. 55? That'll be the record. I feel like we'll just be kind of going on more tangents. Yes, I was trying to close it. Like well. And then you and then we brought up Oh gosh. <laughs> Will Five, where are you? <laughs> no, no no no. I already say he's never come on the podcast again and I mean it. <laughs> that it was wasn't awful. that bad. Was what do you mean wasn't that bad? The man I, I guess you know what, the water bottle did swear in the last one and he got through. I like how you're hyping on him, and then he's probably going to watch this podcast, like, the Which minute one? he comes out. Will? Will? Oh, the oh, Will? No, he has school now. He can't watch it the minute he comes out. He's in school. Oh. Or maybe you'd be cool, but like, mm-hmm. hey, guys, my, my, uh, Dr. Sheep uploaded a video. Let's all watch it. <laughs> it's the podcast. 50 minutes. <laughs> the teacher stops <laughs> class. This but is more important than math. Let's thing. fast forward to the last five minutes. <laughs> I freaking hate Will. <laughs> Why is this? And Will's just like, oh. <laughs> of all the people on this earth, of you, all are, the you are the least valuable. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. That's enough of this. That's enough of this. We've talked about giant lenses and how I want to. Oh, well, now we got to give something for the. For the YouTubers to post, comment. If you've made it this far, comment hashtag I hate Will. (laughs) Comment hashtag I hate Will. With three L's. (laughs) No, no, two Two, L's. Two L's. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Hashtag I hate Will. Comment below. All of them. One through infinity. Yeah. (laughs) I hate Will. Hashtag. I'm gonna go put that on Twitter. This hits <laughs> trending instantly. We're millionaires, kids. I hate Will. All right, I think that's it. All right, well, um, well, we're gonna get really As close always, to the I'd record. Like to thank you all for Wait, watching. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Please hold on. like, comment, subscribe, and you're doing a sub for trees. So you okay? You got that one through. Hold on, hold on. We might break the record just because I want to see what the record is. Okay, fifty-two, forty-two. It's... 52... Uh, that's it. No, no, this one is 52. 52, 29... No, 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 I want to see... No, no, this one is 53, 38 or something like that. 52... 52... Oh, no. You know, we'll come at 52 in 32 seconds. I think 52... I think 52 is the record. Oh, is it? I think we, we smashed it. What are we at? 53, 44? I don't, I, I don't see any other ones. Now it's just us looking. For well, as long as you don't have anything to cut out. I have I to th- cut out you swore earlier. Oh yeah. But that's like a second. Otherwise, this all is he all... said was what? Damn and hell. N- those are fine. It was donkey. Donkey. Yes. Oh. But the next philosophy video, if you watch, is on swearing. I have to give a warning for that one. Yeah, it's it's 52 minutes, which we smashed no. before I even went and looked at it. What anyway, is it, what is that even a bad word? Donkey. Donkey. That's a philosophy video. I am NBA. <laughs> I would like thank you all for wa- listening slash watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. New podcast every other Friday, 2 p.m. Central Time. And good night. Good night. <laughs>